Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Something is moving at a very fast pace. That's 8-8. Eight, eight. Leo energy, lion's gate, portal energy, abundance, the ace of wands, four of wands. You're creating something that's going to bring you a lot of peace, contentment. It's a happy home life. This is a new project, a creative project of some kind. This could be a new career opportunity, a promotion. But your life is about to change. Here's a queen of swords. You could just be like cutting out a lot of things that don't serve you. So for some of you, this is nesting. You're nesting. Okay, you're nesting. That makes sense. And this is pregnancy for someone. Eight weeks, eight months, four weeks. You're nesting though. And of course, it, it, it's it's pregnant with an idea, a project. You you you're ready to give birth to something. And I yeah, seven of pentacles. You're ready to invest in something. And here you have it again, eight of swords. So that's eight eight eight. And then here is the four of cups, nine of cups, and then card number eight. So now we have eight, 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 four eights. Card number eight is justice. So the, you're receiving justice. Wow, wow, wow. The dreamer and the wheel, the fool and the, and the wheel, six of cups, the three of cups, balance. Something is coming back to you, full circle. The dreamer, it's a brand new cycle. The next 10 years of your life are going to be no, nothing like the last 10. Six of cups, three of cups, four of cups, nine of cups. And this is all cups, 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 cups. Emotions, downloads, you know, water, fishes, babies. <laughs> Yeah, you have three, three of cups, four of cups, six of cups, eight of cups, nine of cups. Some of y'all, because I just talked about this days ago. If you've been dealing with wound magic or someone playing around with your sacral energy where you haven't been able to tap into your creativity to give birth to new projects or ideas or for some even children, this is changing. This is, it's giving birth to, you're birthing something. Seven of pentacles here. And this, this is about action and emotions, something spiritual. Because all the cards are fire and water. And then you have here the balance card, which is like temperance energy. This is fire and water. You are acting on your emotions. You're acting on your passions. This is alchemy. But you're balancing things out. Temperance energy also speaks of self-control, you having harmony, um, waiting for the perfect time. So some of you have waited for the perfect time or it's like God, something is happening in divine time. Like God, your spiritual team, they waited for the perfect time for you to receive something. And you're receiving this now after being in this Queen of Swords, heavy Libra energy here, the Queen of Swords here. Eight of Swords and the Justice card. Whatever mental entrapment here, you called for justice. You called judgment on the situation. You're receiving justice. But you've been very, very smart, very witty. You see how she has that crystal ball in her hand? But this is a Queen of Swords. This person is very objective in their decision making. This also feels too like for some of you here, because this card at the bottom, it says seeing the humor in a situation. Some of you, you've always known exactly what was going to come of a particular situation. And I feel that when a lot of people thought with the eight of swords here that you were 
you were trapped. You gave the illusion that you were that you thought you were trapped as well, but you always knew that justice was coming. This is someone here who has very, very strong faith. You always knew that you would receive your justice. You never let go of that idea. And someone here, you could, you could um with swords here, you could have, you know, be clairvoyant. You could be, you could have a psychic or prophetic gift or, or whatever this is, but you're very, very intuitive, very discerning. But uh, with you're this is not um cups, it's it's queen of swords. Justice, Libra energy. You make fair and just decisions. You you do what's right. So even when life came at you hard and you felt trapped, even with the confusion and the illusions, you were still being guided to do what's right. So now here you get a bright, a clean sight zero. That's the dreamer, the fool. And then the wheel. It's a brand new cycle. Something here just starts new, fresh. Literally, it, it's it's a, like a, it's a new timeline. I talked about this a few weeks ago. This is just another confirmation. You successfully jumped the timeline. Seven of Pentacles here. This is a seven-year cycle. You invested seven years or more in a situation, and you it may have seemed like it was all a waste of time, but that entire time you were planting seeds. You were planting great seeds the entire time you were in this seven-year cycle. And to you, you may have thought that you were in an illusion. And everyone else around you thought that you were in an illusion. But no, it was all just waiting on divine timing. And now you planted these seeds and that's why all this water is here. All of your seeds are being watered now. This is your seeds that, that are leading to your harvest. It, it's this this energy of, of fertility coming into your life now. So this is a seven to eight year cycle. It was a karmic cycle though, because it was full of illusions. It was your nesting period. It was your period of preparation. This is super. Four of pentacles. Yeah. Four of pentacles and here's the three of pentacles. The four of pentacles here could be a, a person who is very frugal. But you know what I feel? I feel that even when you didn't have it to give, you were giving to others. Three of pentacles. You were pouring from an empty cup for a long time. You're being rewarded for that. For a long time, you poured from an empty cup. Because it just seemed like the right thing to do. So this was, wow. Oh, you know what I'm hearing? People trying to sacrifice a person who has the spirit. Like, you, you don't mind being the martyr. They tried to sacrifice the, the martyr, meaning you already have a selfless spirit about yourself. You're, you were already self-sacrificing. And then they went, your enemies took it a step further to try and sacrifice you. Like, what? Are you stupid? Wow. This is definitely, like, you're the person you... You're the martyr. You just pour from an empty cup. And now it's it's about to run over. Six of swords. Yeah. Things are looking up. Ten of wands here. Wow. Ten of wands. And then the ace of swords and the star. And the wait, 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 wait. This is this is the message. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Renewal, which is Judgment. Ten of Wands. Followed by the Ace of Swords. The Star and the Ace of Cups. Followed by the Lovers. And behind that is the Devil. 
This is the illusion. It's behind all of this. The three of wands. Ace of swords. The star. And the ace. There's two beginnings. The lovers. Somebody or something has been... Someone has wanted to spread um, this toxicity, this darkness in your life. Six of swords, though. You're moving on. This is right after the justice card. Knight of pentacles, because you were loyal, patient, dedicated, you're, you're getting ju judgment. Like your life is, has, is under review in the life of people around you who try to stop you. This is an assessment of the facts. This, thing, this has nothing to do with how anybody feels. This is an assessment and an evaluation of the facts. God is saying these are the facts. You attack this person. These are the facts. You block this person. These are the facts. You delayed something that I already said was destiny. And God sat back and let your enemies do this. Because we all know judgment is coming. And they thought that everybody thought they was getting away with something. Everybody. No conscience, no, no conviction. They everybody thought that they was making a fool out of God. And there's something here about the sacrifice. How dare you try to sacrifice someone who was already placed here to pretty much be a martyr? You're gonna sacrifice the one that was sent here to save you? A lot of you were sent here to help people. You poured from an empty cup and they said, oh, no, that's OK. We're still going to sacrifice that person. Ten of Wands. Heavy, heavy burdens here. Ace of Swords, the Star and the Ace of Cups. These aren't your burdens, though. You have a brand new um, beginning here. New ideals, mental clarity, you have truth, you have, I mean, having truth and clarity automatically brings you a lot of peace. And this is the reason why now the star is here. This is you being optimistic, happy, because you know you're on the right path. You get to fall in love with yourself, fall in love with life. For some of you, it's a, it's a connection coming as well. The lovers here with the devil and the three of wands. This lover's here with the devil and the three of wands also is you coming out of a false sense of entrapment. This is you no longer being super concerned either with material things. You are falling in love with the idea of having love in your life because you understand that to have love means that you will attract everything else, including material things. So this is no more negative thinking. That's what this ego card is here. You're coming out of ego. So you have successfully had an ego death. As in you're letting go of a false sense of entrapment and your enemies, <laughs> they're being judged for being in their ego. Being so much in their ego that they thought that they would always keep you in an illusion. But we're not going to just blame it on other people. It's just It's just a false sense of entrapment. You know, but there are people around you who have taken advantage of these things and, you know, try very hard to mentally, psychologically and spiritually abuse you. Six of Wands. It doesn't matter, though. The Six of Wands is here. Victory. Success. There's good news coming. King of Wands and the King of Swords is here. King of Wands, King of Swords. This is you like really speaking up. This is being in your masculine energy, whether you're a, a man or woman. This is you being very assertive, ambitious, and you, it's like that throat chakra activation. Oh, that makes sense too. Let me talk about the bird. The throat chakra. The throat chakra is not just about you speaking about things, but it's you being very passionate about what you're speaking about. Being passionate about speaking about your purpose. That shifts in environment. 
you're speaking your mind with confidence. When somebody tells you something that you don't believe now, you're saying you say what you mean and you mean what you say. That's why the Queen of Swords is there with the Justice card. You're using the power of your tongue more effectively now because you're not you're not afraid to say things. You're not afraid to sing. You're not afraid to sing like a bird. Some of you, you're not afraid to snitch. You're not afraid to tell what, what the truth is. It says communicate with vision and be a leader. Yeah, you're communicating with vision because you're called into leadership. Some of you are supposed to be um, singers or like um, speakers. You're focused. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, king, dang, what is this? King of Cups, King of Pentacles, and then the High Priestess? That's four kings. Whoa. And the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, High Priestess. Uh, it's a very strong masculine energy. And I have to say, for some of you, if you've had several men or even like a male coven come and get you for being very strong. This is justice. Somebody here is willing to speak up to get justice. This is very interesting. There was two kings that came out together. I feel like a lot of you are embodying this masculine energy. But for four kings to come out together, there was two on the top of the deck and two at the bottom of the deck. A top and bottom. If you know, you know. Some of you have a group of men. A lot of secrets. An unconventional lifestyle that have been attacking you. Nine of Wands, High Priestess. They wanted you to give up. So somebody out here, you've been silenced or somebody tried to silence you. They wanted you to stop singing. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Okay, it's all coming to This group wanted you to stop singing like a bird, so they tried to silence you. So you have somebody out here that realized you were coming out of this false sense of entrapment, growing, expanding, becoming confident, nesting for a new beginning. And someone here, a group, decided, we want you to stop singing like a bird, High Priestess. You talk too much. You say too much. You know too much. You've learned too much. Let's shut that person down, nine of wands. Let's put this person through so much that they'll just give up. Nine of swords. What does it say? And what does it say? Unity, hierophant. This is an or this is a group or an organization. They wanted to bring you stress, fear, and anxiety. The Ten of Pentacles here. Because somebody didn't want you to have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles also is about something long-term success, legacy, your financial security. So someone here tried to create a lot of illusions and confusion to, to keep you out of something that will bring about a lot of success. The Seven of Cups is here. You have here the Hangman, Sacrifice, and then the Ten of Cups. So here now we have all these cups out here. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Hermit. This was an attack on someone's finances and love life. Somebody has gotten the attention of a, a group 
an organization mostly of men. There's a divine feminine who is singing like a bird. Could be a musician, a speaker. When they saw this person that they've probably been siphoning energy from, when they saw this person, Six of Wands began to receive victory, rewards, or recognition and come out of some type of illusion. They decided to, to really turn up the heat and bring in this stress, this fear, this anxiety. The Hermit card here. Somebody wanted you to spend time alone in isolation so that you could not receive partnerships. So for a lot of you, I have to be honest, this could be someone that you're connected to that's a part of some type of secret society, a group, an organization of some kind. When they saw you begin to grow and advance in a skill, a gift, talent, and or ability, Maybe open yourself up to new opportunities, even love. Someone made sure to target you, to stop you, to silence you, to block you, to have you in isolation, to shut you up. And the song I was hearing before, what's that song? Don't you know how to say I love you? In my head, in my head. Somebody wants to know who's loving you. I sit around with my head hanging down and I wonder who's loving you. Don't you know I sit around? So somebody is like, don't you know that I'm, I'm sad. I'm not getting your energy. Who's loving you? Yeah. Evidence here in loss. Sorrow. You're going to get proof or there's going to be an investigation though that someone is so upset that you are happy and somebody knows you're happy because of how you're showing up in the world. See, when you are Mad, sad, depressed, lonely, it's easier for the attacks to work. When you're out and you are giving love, receiving love from your friends, your family, or your partner, that makes it harder for these different people to attack you. Someone here has, has watched you and monitored you and they're realizing that it's like, whoa, 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 you're, you're getting a little too strong. You're getting too happy. I, I, can't, I can't keep you in isolation. I can't shut you up. I can't control you. I can't I can't do the things I used to do to you. And this person saying, don't you know I sit around with my head hanging down and I wonder who's loving you? Like this person is they're upset. This is someone who's mad that you you left. Evidence. This person has gotten evidence that you're in a connection. Look at this. Don't you know I sit around with my head hanging down? Daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, and how I lost an opportunity to have a happy family with you. Don't you understand? This person, they they take pride in seeing you happy and online, or whatever the case may be. So they had an idea. They came up with an idea in their 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 head, their ch childish head. Let me call to a natural disaster for this person. Because they want to save you for themselves. So this was, the, this was the plan, the plot, the idea. For you to lose joy, for you to lose friends, for you to lose community. This person got word that you were happy. Maybe you're in a new relationship, you have new friends. When this person started to realize that you have a certain life without them and you're happy, they got in their ego, pride. This hit this person's ego. This is someone who likes to have a variety of lovers, but you're the, this is prob probably a narcissist. You're their fa you're you're like their favorite supply. They like to be able to, 
you know, you know, a, a boost. It's an ego boost for them to come in and out of your life and try and make a fool out of you. And when they realize that they couldn't control you, whatever group or organization they're in, they got these people to most likely attack you. To try and cause a natural disaster. To be very mean. To attack your finances. Look. Mask. Fury. You have withdrawal and stop and bully. This is insane. I don't know if it's a man or a woman in these cards you have here. Mask, Fury. Um, this could be an organization that has men and women, to be honest. But someone here was pretending, very deceptive, very like angry. Someone is upset that they've been rejected. Stop. You have bully, origin, and goal. Promise. Somebody has bullied you because of your creativity, your life force energy, your vitality, your purpose. And this also has to do with the relationship. But you're going on to peaceful, calm waters on a new adventure and receiving justice. That's crazy, though. Four kings? This could be a... You know what? It's like there's a... um. It seems like there is a woman who has had several men to try and attack you. Or it's a group. Let's say this group could have men and women, but it's a woman out here for sure. that is offended, like upset. It feels like there's a woman out here who is extremely offended and upset. This could be because like they, hold on, okay. This this could, could be so many different things, but what I'm really saying is I feel like there is a woman specifically, and remember, it could be male or female. Take it how it resonates. The majority of my viewers are women. I feel like for some of you, you could be a woman, and there is a woman who has possibly been like siphoning or harvesting your energy or copycatting, trying to be like you, they could have gained the attention from a an organization, um, a group. All these masculines, they could have even gotten the attention from a lot of different men because they were using your energy.